I think that the biggest disease of today's times is that people really don't believe in themselves and people like you, what, are, what they are doing is the giving the power back to people because every answer is within us, as they yeah. say, isn't that true? <laughs> yeah. every it's, answer... like, it's like once you trust and believe in you, I mean, the most of the work that I'm doing with people is eventually to get them to not need me. I should be out of a job, you know, if I'm doing my work well enough and they're paying attention and they're doing enough in a journey work and they have unfortunately what you need is awareness of self most people don't have enough awareness of self you know it's a bit like me saying to someone i, th I think you're angry and they're like no i'm not angry. i'm not an angry you know it's when you don't have awareness of self when somebody has awareness of self and they're bringing you in to help them, most of them are willing to listen. You get a tiny percentage of people who aren't willing to listen. But when you can identify with people, you know, you are very self-sabotaging, you're very fearful, you're very angry, you're very condescending to yourself, you seem, you have like jealousy issues, you know, you have rage issues, let me help you find the origin of these issues and let's clear them out. You know, then you can help them. It's when they surrender into being assisted and it's not that they're giving their power away to me because I don't want, to be responsible for them. I'm helping them find the problem that is why they are struggling to be defensive or they can't take responsibility for themselves. And most people do need somebody to help them. It's very hard to go into your subconscious mind and it's very hard to have a very big awareness of yourself. You know, I, I can kind of do it on myself because I've had so many years experience doing it and I'm constantly looking at myself going, do I, you know, what do I need to clear? What? And it becomes easier because I have so much experience, but it's what do people value in investing in? You know, most people will invest in a house, a car, you know, clothing, but they won't invest in their inner journey work and it's getting them to see value in that. You know what I w always ask people, for example, if they have a problem, I always ask them, well, do you have problems with uh, anxiety issues, for example? And they went to doctors and they couldn't do anything about that uh, except for popping pills, which is forever. So I ask them, would you uh, pay, I don't know, uh, 200 pounds, uh, let's, let's say your currency, 200 pounds for someone helping you to get rid of that yes 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 I would <laughs> but in fact <laughs> they're not doing it they're not seeking help because uh, but, but help is available many people know how to deal with that and people like you for example but I don't know it's it's really about not believing certain things but it's not about not believing but some people don't really want to even try anything so maybe yeah. so maybe it's they're comfortable with those anxieties I think if there is a problem in my life, I will do everything to fix it. I will look for every measures that I can take, right? It's just... That, but, but you've awakened, and I think that's it. You've awakened to a place where you're aware to take responsibility for yourself. I think that's the key thing. It's like yeah. they don't want responsibility. Also, they've probably got entities sabotaging it for themselves. Often I see that it's the entity stopping them from coming to see you um, to do the inner work. And then when they shift something sometimes, then they can finally show up to do the inner work. Um, or sometimes they, you know, I have people I've known as friends and they're like, I still don't understand what you do, but they've never done any inner journey work with me. And then I have complete strangers, you know, contact me going, I know you can assist me. I have people who say they were given my name in a dream and they Googled me and found me. You know, so those people are more awake. And I think we have to be very discerning about people we can help and being in that discernment is going, you know what, this person isn't ready 